Welcome back, this is Kevin and I'm going to show you what not to do when cutting gears. Look guys, we got a problem. We all understand what the problem is. Okay, good. What's the problem? The damn gear's stripped and the manufacturer doesn't sell replacement parts anymore. So what the hell do we do? Maybe we could weld it. All right, and it's done. Ship it. Oh yeah, unpredictable. No, I'm joking, of course. So I just TIG welded the areas where the teeth were stripped out. And we're gonna try to minimize the amount of machining we're doing by welding just barely enough. Because of my TIG welding wizardry, all we need is a nice cleanup pass. And there we have it. With the magic of editing, our machining fixture's already been fabricated, and our gear shaft is mounted, ready for cutting. Oh, if it were only that easy. I ran a few test cuts on some aluminum round stock. It seems to work best if it just free spins. You want to tension the bolts so there's basically no end play, but yet it can free spin like it's on roller bearings. Now here's the part in the video where some of you folks are bound to get upset and start ranting about how dangerous it is to wear gloves around spinning objects. So I'm just going to say, absolutely, you should never do this. Even though I do it, I'm just a crazy idiot who wants to get my hand ripped off. And now that I've gotten that disclaimer out of the way, let's continue having some fun. Alright, we've made good progress so far. The gear cutting is nearly complete. There's just a couple more steps that we need to do. But so far, I think it's looking really good. And it's back to the lathe. So the last thing we need to do here is fairly important, and that has to do with how the individual gear teeth contact the other gear that it meshes with. So I'm grinding a radius contour on the tops of the gear teeth on both sides and then follow it up with a light polishing on all the contact faces. Damn, that thing looks really good. There's a few minor blemishes, but I don't think that's gonna hurt anything. By now you're probably wondering, what's the point of this? I mean, what is the point? The point? Yeah, I mean, what am I starting here? So I'm doing this job for an old childhood friend of mine. Uh, we haven't seen each other in years, but we still keep in contact with, through Facebook. Uh, the machine that he and his buddy have is actually an old wood planer. The brand is a Northwood International wood planer, and it's from the mid-1980s. And apparently the company has changed hands multiple times and it's nearly impossible to get replacement parts for it. So we're rebuilding it. And that's pretty much it, we're all done. Since we've got the thing apart, I'm gonna throw on some new bearings. 16 bucks from McMaster Car, can't pass that up. Getting this thing boxed back up, and I'm shipping it back to you, Gilberto. So if any of you guys out there watching have some kind of oddball problem, don't hesitate to contact us at our website or hit us up on Facebook or Instagram. The end. Now go outside and build something. <laughs>